Hey everybody, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm again working on Project Life. This is from 2022 and this is week two. And I'm actually going to be using Studio Calico's January kit. This is, I don't know the name of it, but this came out, you know, in 2022. And so I'm just kind of walking through some of the supplies. This is the first time that I'm getting a look at it. So there's a lot of fun products in there. There's some word stickers, of course, some chipboards, some cards. And I'll go through the cards in just a minute as I, you know, put down my photos. Then I will end up looking through the cards. And then they've got some labels. Those were fabric labels. So anyway, there are some fun supplies in here. And I'm just going to start off by cutting up my photos. You guys know that this is my game plan. If you guys have been here for any amount of time, definitely doing my photos first. So I will admit to starting this layout and not really knowing exactly all the stories that I wanted to tell or, you know, what I want this to look like. I mean, oftentimes I don't know what the end result is going to be anyway, but I do kind of have an idea of the stories I want to tell. And I wasn't 100% sure about that. One thing that I will say about this project life in the year 2022, I've been taking a lot less photos. You'll see in week three, I maybe have like four photos or something like that. So I feel like this year is going to be a little bit more um, card heavy, story heavy, and maybe a little less photos. So we'll just see how, as the year uh, evolves. And, but right now, so far in the month of January, that's kind of how it's gone and that's okay. Oftentimes I take a little bit less photos indoors anyway, and I'm haven't been outside as much. I definitely need to be better about doing that because the weather has been a little bit more mild here. All right, so you saw that I was going through all of the cards and as I was looking through the cards, I was paying attention to color, style, and also uh, the sentiments on the cards and would it work for the story that I wanna tell. So as I was looking through that, I was kind of considering the stories that I wanted to tell from this week and just kind of pulling out cards with similar colors and ones that I thought would go really well together. I feel like Studio Calico tends to do that where almost always I felt like Allie Edwards, all of the cards from a kit would go together. I feel like Studio Calico is kind of sectioned where, you know, there are certain like, there's like two or there's almost like two or three color palettes, you know, where you can see that there's a lot of pinks and greens and oranges. And those are the ones I kind of pulled out for this. And then next week, you'll see that I pulled out some of the grays and the blues and the pinks. So it's kind of interesting how uh, you can kind of get different looks from the same exact kit. So you'll see that coming up week three. That's just a little bit of a sneak because I've definitely have that done. So three of the cards that I chose with the oval says document, capture, and love this. I love that they were similar styles, even though they were different colors. So it kind of brought in the design and made it look like it all came together. So that's another thing that you can do. You know, I do that a lot with color, but also with the design, if you, there's a card in there in this kit that I think says start here and it's in different colors. So I could have used a card like that uh, in different colors, but it had the same sentiment, had the same look and design to kind of help, you know, the viewer flow through this spread. And that's definitely what I've done with these three cards, even though they are different colors. So I decided to use that as the theme and you know, look for some greens and look for some oranges and then look for some pinks as well. So that's, you'll kind of see that I'm pulling in uh, cards and, and designs that will work with those. Also for the title card, I chose a the calendar. That was a card that came in the kit. And I'm just going to assume that it's probably going to come every month in their kits. I really love this idea and you'll see that I end up highlighting it in the end and just so that you actually see what the dates are for this week. All right, so for this blank white card that I had, I wanted to do some journaling or tell a story about how we were all basically sick this week. Started with my husband over the weekend, and then Megan and I were both sick this week. And, you know, I think 
I just assumed that we all had COVID because basically everyone we knew had COVID, family members had COVID, neighbors had COVID, but we all tested negative. So turns out we didn't, um, which I guess is a really great thing. And maybe that has something to do with the fact that we've had it before. But at any rate, we were sick this week, but we did not have the dreaded COVID. So anyway, I'm making a little card for you know, so that I could then do my journaling in just a minute. I was thinking of doing 666 three times because I think it works better in threes, but then I was like, I won't have any room for doing journaling. So then that's why I only stuck with doing it twice. I really loved that this kit came with three different, ver like three packs or three sheets of the stickers because you'll see that I end up using it on multiple photos and it just gave me more options having the three different sheets. So thank you Studio Calico for um, offering so many of those sheets of stickers. All right, so you're gonna see me just kind of blow through all of this journaling. That card that I'm using, the this and that I used, it's the backside of a card that I used for week one. And once I'm done doing some journaling, if it is in a four by six pocket, I'm just going to uh, tape them together. You will see on the right hand side, that is a page protector that has individual three by four pockets. So I'm not gonna be taping any of them together. So this is actually the last piece of journaling that I'll be doing and you'll see that I grabbed over a brush pen. That's because I wanted to kind of highlight this question, which is where is the snow? One of the pictures that I took this week is my dog outside on the grass, which is really unheard of for Utah in January to not have snow on the ground. It may not be snowing every day, but it's never warm enough for the snow to be gone. So it's so strange to be able to see the grass. And it's I've been almost been able to see the grass the entire month of January. So it's so, so weird. All right. So you saw that I grabbed over a Copic marker and just outlined the week. I kind of wish the week started on Monday, but they start on Sunday and I go through Monday to Sunday. So you can see that I had to go uh, go down one of the weeks, but that's totally fine. I actually don't mind the look of that at all. And now I'm just kind of looking through everything and trying to determine what else I want to do. And I did decide that I would like to add some more of those stickers. So I've got the sick. And then I was like, you know, maybe I can add a few more to some of these places on my photos because I have several photos that have a lot of white space. So for this one, I'm um, using the stickers to write out yes to less and that you'll see that I will in a minute do the opposite, which is, oh, what did I say? More of this. <laughs> so yes to less and more of this. And then I do end up adding a few, a few more stickers and you'll see that I'm just adjusting, which is really nice because the paper that I use is pretty sticky, where if you stick anything down on it, it's so hard to get it off. But I just very lightly touched the, the tops of these stickers, or maybe it was the bottom of the stickers down, and I was able to pull them up and move them over without ripping the paper and having to reprint that photo. So that's really nice. So if you're ever doing something like this, just maybe lightly add it to the photo. So if you need to adjust something, you know, move something over, then you are definitely able to do that. So anyway, loved adding that to the photo. And then I believe the next one I'm going to do is the photo of my dog that I was just talking about. I end up putting the word uh, love, not spelled correctly, but I thought it would be fun just to do L-U-V, which is more phonetic. And then I'm going to do, again, like I said, I will do one more, which is more of this. Um, that's definitely a sentiment that you hear a lot in January, which what are you going to do less of and what are you going to do more of? So I kind of cut off being able to see, you know, me put all those stickers down, but you get the gist, I think. So this last thing that I'm going to do is I reprinted, there was a photo of me with this cake that I made, but I wanted to have just the cake. So one of the things that I've been totally interested in this year is baking. I'm watching a lot of videos. I bought a pie book. I made a cake. A chocolate cake and then the next week I made a vanilla cake and anyway it's just been a lot of fun for me so I got that photo and then I did some 
journaling about how Megan and I have been in the kitchen cooking a lot more. So anyway, you guys, that is going to be it for this week. Thank you so much for being here and joining me for this week's uh, process video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will definitely get to them. You guys are awesome and we will see you in the next one. Bye.